hot girl summer with our insecurities and we're going to break down what we're shown in media versus who we actually are and love our bodies and love ourselves even when our brains tell us that we're not deserving of that. It's not true, okay babes? Okay. You are amazing and you need to hear it because sometimes people don't tell you and sometimes you don't tell it to yourself enough and this organ, it, it lies. It has not really been a secret that I have cried all month. June and July have been extraordinarily difficult for me. I did way too much retail therapy. This is um, how I have been coping. I just really started hating myself again recently. And I, I really want to speak about this because I feel like everyone talks about the highs and the successes, but people don't talk about the lows or the difficult parts. And I am not in a mood to cry today. <laughs> I did way too much retail therapy. I wonder if this happens to anyone else. Whenever I'm feeling <laughs> or crappy about a situation, my brain, it just goes nuts. And it tells me things that aren't true. And even though I feel great about my skin and my hair and my body most days now where I didn't before, my brain will start hyper-focusing on all of my insecurities, my acne, my, my body, my hair, you name it. I will start to question my validity. It tanks my self-esteem. We have all had that moment where we wanted something or we worked for something so hard. It is totally normal to have times in our life where we don't make the cut or we don't get the thing that we want, where we get rejected from something. That is totally normal. And it's actually a part of life and it's a part of achieving success, right? But I'm not gonna lie, um, sometimes Sometimes it just hits you differently. And it's it, it literally could have nothing to do with you. It could literally be other circumstances, other things, but it's sometimes so hard to not take it personally. And for me, <laughs> I haven't had a moment like this in a really long time. It just feels like this wall of terribleness and I start getting shaky hands and I start questioning myself and my worth and my validity. Like it could literally have nothing to do with me, but I'm just like, is it because I'm not pretty enough? Is it because I'm not smart enough? Am I not successful? I'm not, like what did I do that made it that this didn't happen the way I wanted it to or the way that I wish it could have? It's so hard to not take it personally. I'm fine. <laughs> She's back. I've just really hated myself more recently than I have in a really long time. <laughs> it literally has like nothing to do with me, but it was to the point again where all the insecurities fled back. I didn't want to walk out the front door. And like I collapsed during the middle of the day for no reason. Oh, it's just, it's been really bad. I, I'm trying to be inspirational, but honestly, I don't know if I can do that for you today. I just need to show up as me and talk about this because I feel like we don't see this side of things, you know? I didn't want to go out and I've been hating my body image, hating my skin. I've been picking at myself and it's just been terrible. It's been the worst it's been in a really long time. So instead of wallowing <coughs> in my sorrows, <clears throat> you know what I did? <laughs> I did way too much retail therapy. But I also said <laughs> this, <laughs> your brain, we're gonna have a hot girl summer <laughs> even with our insecurities. And we are going to embrace this. And I literally wanna show you head to toe the things I've been so <laughs> insecure about. And we're not gonna let that get to us, okay? Um, again, I probably did way too much damage, but it is Amazon Prime Day. So that was my <laughs> excuse. And like everything was on sale, which is good. But I hate feeling like this. And if I sit at home and just let my brain go, it just, it doesn't help. There are so many days where we don't feel good enough or capable enough. It's not about being capable or confident or brave. It's about doing it scared. So I'm gonna show you what my body looks like posed and unposed. I'm gonna show you my back pimples and we're gonna talk about the hairs on my legs and everywhere else and the things that make us human that we judge ourselves for and we compare ourselves to other people because of and we stare in the mirror and we hate ourselves when in reality these are totally normal biological beautiful things and even with these insecurities we're going to have a hot girl summer because you're bad okay and I'm gonna I'm be a bad even if I don't feel like a bad sometimes honestly let's let's rip some of these open it's uh it's gonna be terrible but it's also gonna be great I have combined my toxic trait of retail therapy with the healthy idea to show off my body and my insecurities and respect it for when it looks great and when it doesn't. When I'm posing, when I'm unposed, because you know what? Everyone has a bikini body. If you aren't judging others, why are you judging yourself this way? You are amazing and beautiful and wonderful. And if no one has told you that today, I'm telling you. Okay, babes, let's do this. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna start out with the hardest first, okay? Bikinis. Why is it that as women, we just, we love to hate ourselves in bikinis? Here I am flexed, 
Okay, let me show you what it looks like when I'm not trying, when I'm just sitting down. Come here. This body that has stomach rolls and that has flappy arms and that has ingrown hairs and the things that we just love to judge ourselves for, this is the exact same body. And it's all about posing. Even this lighting is doing a ton. Look at this. This is different. This is different. Why do we hate ourselves for this? These bodies literally carry us through every single day. And look at this. Stretch marks, scars that I don't want to talk about. Literally, there are so many things things that we as women pick ourselves apart for. But this body with, you know, all of these imperfections, it's the same body that we compare ourselves to otherwise, not realizing how much goes into lighting and how much this industry literally tries to sell us on insecurities. First off, this bikini, this bikini is one that I almost didn't order. And I am so glad I did. Because when I sit here and learn to love my body for literally carrying me throughout every single day with all of its rolls and all of its stretch marks and all of its issues, it's hella cute. Even with these things that are less than perfect, look at my pimples, okay? This bikini is literally a less expensive dupe for the triangle swimwear. Triangle swimwear is what, like $300? This is purple, not pink, so we love her. And look at this, itty bitty titty committee. My titties are big enough. My stomach has rolls when I bend over because it's a stomach that literally helps me digest food. I got slippers because I'm insecure about my big toes and my bunions. But you know what? This is a body and it gets me through the day. Even with my insecurities and my issues, I am going to decide to love this bikini and love this body. Look at my breakouts. Look at them. Look at this nasty ass pimple that I popped out of stress. I love her. She's anything but perfect. She's got all the things. I love her. And you know what? I honestly feel terrible sometimes complaining because I recognize that I haven't had some of the same struggles that other people do with their bodies or with their image, right? <laughs> my struggles are still really intense in my own head and they're valid. And I hope that this goes to show that regardless of what your body looks like, regardless of where you're at, there's so much that literally goes into into just the way that somebody is posed. Look at all this. You don't see that in the magazines, but it could literally be the exact same body that they're just not show you. I love this swimsuit. I'm not gonna let my insecurities not let me love this. I am going to slay in this. And yes, I can flex if I want to, or I can just let my body do what it's gonna do naturally and be okay with that. That's, that's the vibes, friends. So I did the hardest one first, but this is a close second. Normally, like I, oh my God, I really wanna hate myself right now. I really wanna hate myself in this, but you know what? I'm not going to. And on days where we're feeling insecure about the back acne pimple that we popped, look, you can't even see it because this one has little shoulder cover-ups. And I am not going to let my insecurities stop me from having a great summer. Right here, if I need a little bit more tummy control, I can have it, but you know what? This tummy digests food. It carries me throughout life. It allows me to feel things. I feel a lot of stuff in my stomach, including IBS. And I'm not gonna let that stop me. And honestly, right here, itty bitty titty committee, you tell me my titties are too small. <laughs> fine, fine, I'm fine with it. And you know what? I'm gonna have a great time in the water with this. Look at my back acne. Look at that. Do you see how I have all these pimples? Those used to literally stop me from doing everything. These scars and these stretch marks right here, they would stop me in my tracks. Not this summer. We're having a hot girl summer and we're not gonna let it get to us. And if we want to wear swimsuits that do cover any areas that we're feeling less than ideal about, we have that option. I love this. I love this. Why do I feel so great and vintage? Do I have a flappy ass? Don't answer that. Maybe I do, but you know what? That is okay. I'm gonna have fun in it. Something else that I wanna point out is if you do have stretch marks or cellulite or any of these things that you feel bad about, first off, you don't have to, it's totally okay. But it's also okay to want to use skincare or products or things that can help with anything that you don't absolutely love. It is 100% okay to be a work in progress. It is okay to have those moments where we don't love something or we still embrace ourselves but want to improve something. When it comes to stretch marks and cellulite, a lot of people don't believe that I have stretch marks and cellulite. Um, literally do. And when I flex, you can really see the, the cellulite. We've done videos on why that happens and what you can do about it all the time. This, it's on Amazon. You can get the full size, which is the big one, or you can get the mini size. This is so good. It's the Beam Cream Smoothing Body Moisturizer. Sol de Janeiro, get out of here. <laughs> Sol de Janeiro is just so overrated in my opinion. This one is so much better. It has AHAs, it has caffeine. Obviously, if you're gonna use this before you go swimming or something, you're definitely going to want to use a sunscreen. But if you're looking for a body cream that does smooth things, things over and really help to resurface the skin, this one is absolutely it. And again, it's okay to not love yourself 100% in a swimsuit. It's okay to love yourself with insecurities. And if we want to use little things such as really good Ulla Henriksen beam creams, or if we want to use swimsuits that do or don't accentuate or protect us from the sun in certain ways, we can do that.
Another thing that I think goes so unnoticed is body cuts and shape. I've been told that I have the shape of a man. I've been told that I have a horse face. I've been told all the things. And honestly, if anyone said that to somebody else, I'd get so mad. But when people tell it to me, I don't know why I accept it. Like we're leaving that in the past. That is not for this hot girl summer with insecurities. But shapes go such a long way. I don't have an hourglass body. I just have to be okay with that. You see this? You see how it goes in like this? No BBLs here. I've been told that I need one, okay? But when you have swimsuits or you have outfits that can make up the illusion that you're looking for, it's a step in the right direction to learning to love yourself. Because if I can love myself when I have an hourglass cut in my swimsuit like this, I can look at my body without the swimsuit and be like, damn, you are a hot ass hoe. You deserve to feel good in your body because of everything it does for you. This is actually a really cute swimsuit on its own. It's got this nice little crochet. Again, we can be insecure about this all we want, but if we don't point it out, most people don't even notice it. If you see me on the beach, are you looking at this right Right here that I'm so insecure about? No, you're not. Are you looking at these little areas? No. Are you looking at my back acne breakout? No, you're not. You're just like, damn, she's in a cute crochet swimsuit. And that's literally all that goes through your mind. So why do we judge ourselves so much and think that other people are judging us so badly? When in reality, that's not happening. Everyone's judging themselves in their head. They couldn't give a about you. And also, I mean, heck, they're probably just like, damn, she cute. Check it out. With just a few accessories, look at how cute this is. And literally all of these are helping me with my insecurities. This hat is one that I got from a recommendation from another blogger. It has like these wires in it. So it like stays on your head. It's gigantic. So cute. So sun protective. But also uh, I think, you know, I've been hella insecure about my hairline and about how much hair I'm losing probably because of stress. And this helps me cover it if I'm feeling a little bit bad on a certain day. Not only that, but it literally protects me from the sun. These shoes as well. These are so cute. I didn't expect them to look this good. I have bunions. So this thing right here is called a bunion and I have been so insecure about them my entire life. I have these gigantic feet. I have these toes that look like fingers and I've always hated them. And it has literally stopped me from wearing open-toed shoes so many times. Well, no more. We're embracing the open-toed shoes. And you know what? These shoes are actually made for people with bunions. I was reading reviews online and everyone was saying that the arch support is superior and that they're supposed to be comfortable so that like you can actually walk around in them. And you know what? They show off my bunions, but they don't actually hurt my bunions. If you have like closed-toed shoes that like rub in this area, they can be super painful. But these actually fit me. And you know what? I am not ashamed that they are a size 10. Okay. Normally I'd be so ashamed by that. Not today. So this purse and this swimsuit are supposed to be dupes for things that are thousands of dollars. This, I don't even remember the designer. I saw this on TikTok. Apparently there's some designer that's like $2,000 for like a leather bag. First off, this is super cute. It's super fun. It's super beachy. And this cost me like 50 bucks. And I am someone who honestly doesn't really care about designer brand names. I used to care so much. Can I tell you something? When I was my like super most insecure, I would literally get ready for school where I was being bullied and I would tally up the amount of dollars that I was wearing in clothing, like how much my shirt cost, how much my jeans cost, retail. I had a shoplifting issue. It was awful. It was sickening, but I did not feel confident leaving the house unless I had a retail value of $500 or more on my ass. And I couldn't afford it. I was in $80,000 worth of credit card debt. I was miserable. I was being bullied. And guess what? Wearing fancy items didn't make people treat me any better. So I got over it and I don't need designer things anymore, but I'm not gonna lie. When I feel super sh because of life circumstances, I start to wonder, damn, like, do I want that handbag? Do I want that thing? And the answer is no, because if I get it, I'm just gonna want the next best thing, right? So that's where things like this come in. TikTok honestly has some of the best fashion dupes that don't cost an arm and a leg. And this helps me realize that, you know what? If I want this on a budget, I can have it. And guess what? Did this majorly improve my life? No, it didn't. So I'm glad I didn't have to spend the price of rent on a handbag. Now, that being said, this swimsuit as well. This is super cute, but this is supposed to be a dupe for like a $200 swimsuit. There's this swimsuit that I've kind of had my mind on, but I just haven't been able to justify it. It has this corset in the back and it like cinches your waist. Well, check this out. This has a little corset in the back too. And you literally tighten it up and it cinches in the waist area. It also cinches a little bit here, which can give you a little bit of lift. Definitely not the same thing, but like if you want to have a hot girl summer, you deserve to go to the pool. You deserve to look and feel your best. And if you want a swimsuit that gives you a little bit of shapewear, why the not. This is all the same body. Your body and all of its rolls and its wrinkles and its insecurities is amazing. And if you just need a little something something to make yourself feel that much better, if you just need a pair of shoes that makes you feel better about being a size 10 and having freaking all these blisters and sh if that's what you need, a little something to help you appreciate your body a little bit more, fine. Because if I can appreciate my body in this,
this. That's the first step to appreciating my body without this. I'm really happy with this. I love this bag. I actually really do. Even though it shows off my acne. Look at that. Do you see it? Yep, so does the rest of the world. And you know what? Nobody cares except for me. This next one is probably the most expensive of the bunch. This is from Miracle Suit. And this one is supposed to like give you shapewear. It's definitely like cinching things in. I don't know why I felt like I needed this. Uh, because now that I have it on and that I'm like facing my insecurities in the mirror, I'm like, you know what? My body is gonna do what it does. I don't need to adjust it anywhere. But I don't know. This one, again, it kind of gives that illusion of tucking things in. And if you're just having a bad day, you're not feeling as boob job as you want to, as society expects. You know what? There you go. I actually feel really good in this one, even though I have, you know, a little bit of body acne. This is one of those that is supposed to do stuff. You know what? It looks good. And I could not have said that 20 minutes ago. Another thing that I learned from the modeling industry is the way that certain accessories can really enhance something. For example, if I'm just standing like this, feet are flat, whatever, right? If you literally wear nude heels or something that gives your foot the illusion of being a little bit longer, literally just pointing your feet differently. Literally just sitting regularly versus pointing your feet differently can have such an impact on the way your body looks. And if you're comparing yourself to some Instagram model or to some person in a magazine who's sitting like this, when you just naturally sit like this, Jeez, no wonder we're all insecure. They don't tell us these things, right? Well, let me show you. These are supposed to be another designer dupe. Again, I used to have a shoe obsession. Again, I hated my feet <laughs> because of those bunions. And so I used to purchase uh, a bunch of designer shoes that I couldn't afford that didn't make me happier and honestly hurt my bunions more. But I did that because it's what I thought I needed to be feminine or to be pretty or to be, I don't know, girly, right? Well, let me tell you, um, the shoes weren't worth it. They sit on a shelf or I had to donate them. They were way too painful and they made my bunions worse. I'm so upset that I spent so much money on things that I barely wore once or twice. That being said, I can find quality pieces that are vegan and don't actually hurt the animals. And look at how that alone just completely changes the way my body looks. Just by having my toes, instead of being flat, they're now pointed, it completely changes things. And whenever you see models in the magazines, have you noticed that they're like always wearing high heels? Most of us don't go to the pool in high heels. So how are we going to expect to look like this if we're not wearing these? I am not advocating heels at the pool. <laughs> I'm just saying I found these pair. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to look like Jimmy Choo's. They're a little bit different, but they're very similar. I think they're so cute. And if you feel like you want a little bit of a leg lift, nude or brown heels that match your skin tone, it literally gives you a little bit of elongation and it gives you the look of longer legs if that's something that you're going for, which again, doesn't have to be the ideal. These are actually really cute. Again, even though I hate my feet in them, <laughs> I'm going to learn to love my feet. And if you told me that these were like, I don't know, if you told me these are $1,500, I believe you. I don't know, I would. These literally cost like 50, so that is a win in my book. Here's something else that I think goes so underappreciated is when you have like basically a swimsuit or a pant line that is just horizontal across versus when it has a V. When it has a V, it gives the body such a different shape, a little bit more classic, a little bit more 50s, right? If this were to be just completely pulled down, I am feeling so insecure in this. If this were just to be completely flat side to side, you see how it would completely make my body look different? But literally by two adjustments, it changes the way my entire body looks. This is even something that like I feel a little insecure in. I'm like, this is way too much for me. But you know what? We're gonna let that body acne show. And if I want to go to the beach and have a good time in this, I am going to. And something I love about one pieces as well that I don't know, I just don't see all the time. I see everyone in bikinis and then I feel like I need to go buy bikinis to like, I don't know, look good. I love that these give me a little bit of extra sun protection. Obviously, I still need to put a ton of sunscreen here, here and everywhere else. But you know what? I do like one pieces and I think we should embrace them a little bit more. Speaking of sun protection, check this out. I got this little doohickey. I think it's supposed to be for golfing, but you can like wear it in the pool. You can wear it swimming. You can wear it hiking or doing sports. It's basically like a shoulder guard. And I don't know why I've never worn these before. I feel like this is so cute. I just, I, I'm kind of, I went from feeling like actually really insecure in this to kind of loving this. Is that not so fun? This protects my body from the sun. Gives me a little bit of extra SPF, but I actually kind of feel like I have a cute outfit going on. Wow. Look at this. I was actually not expecting to love this as much as I do. Is that not so cute? Oh my gosh. No lies. This one kind of makes me look like a fancy dinner plate, but here's what I'm talking about. You see how it's just a cross? By the way, this is flexing. Unflexed. Remember, it's natural to have a body. Check this out. If you just go like this, all of a sudden it's a completely different look. Why did nobody teach you this when it comes to insecurities and posing? I guess that wasn't a thing when we were growing up. On the days that you just don't feel like you could even get into a swimsuit or a bikini, and sometimes it's something this simple that can make us feel a little bit better at a time that we would otherwise be insecure, right? And you know what? Don't forget things like swimsuit cover-ups. Look at these. This has little butterflies on it. Is this not?
not so adorable? I think that this is so cute. And these little swimsuit cover-ups are honestly perfect, especially if you're feeling bad about your body. This is so adorable. I actually am in love with this. Oh, it's inside out. I'm dumb. This came in a set of two. Here is the white one where it's not inside out. It's outside, inside, right? And I know I just called myself dumb, but like, that's the thing. This is what goes through my head and probably so many other people's heads all day long. And it's so not true. And it's like, we have our inner narrator. That is dictating how we show up in the world and do life. Why be mean to ourselves? Our brains and bodies do so much for us, okay? Look at this, adorable. This is 10 out of 10. I think this was $14 for two of them. Also, please remember that posing does a lot. Look at that, same with an S curve. Same exact body, just different shape. Lighting can also have a huge impact on the way you look. I don't wanna like myself in this, but sometimes we need to hype ourselves up. So you know what? You can call me ranch, cause I'd be dressing. <laughs> Secretly kind of happy that we're done with swimwear, but now it's on to shapewear. This is literally a skims dupe and whew, it is pushing things in. You saw earlier, I have a little bit of a pooch. I am not mad about it, even though on some days my brain tells me that I should be, but this is actually holding it all in. This is literally a skims dupe. I wasn't sure about this and I've never used skims. So maybe I have to get skims and compare it. This is really good. And this is something that you wear obviously under clothing. And honestly, on your journey to self-love or on my journey to self-love, if I I need something like this to feel even better in a dress, then fuck it, I'm gonna do it. And that's a step in the right direction towards me loving myself with or without it. Speaking of shapewear under a dress, check this out. This dress is kind of like shapewear on its own. It's this little wrap thing. So it like wraps around and you can cinch it if you want to. This is actually very cute. This is very, it reminds me of like Dolce and Gabbana, but without the homophobia. Um, I really love this. It's a little wrinkly. Um, I don't think it has pockets. I kind of wish it did, but this was inexpensive and this is adorable. Look at her. She and her insecurities are so ready for this hot girl summer. Speaking of pockets, we have this option. This is actually a really fun little romper. It's actually much thicker than I thought it would be. It's just a little bit wrinkly. But this is something that I can have a hot girl summer even with my insecurities. For example, these pimples used to bother me so much. I would never wear something that has a back like this just because of all of my acne and all of my scars. But you know what? We're not gonna be insecure about that today. And check it out. <laughs> um, even showing off my ankles, these shoes, these literally look like, what's that brand that everybody's wearing that has these Balenciaga? They're like a thousand dollars. These are from Steve Madden. Steve Madden coming through. Obviously it doesn't say Balenciaga on the side, but that is so similar. Also, this is a body. It moves, it does things, it's great. I used to be so insecure about, again, not having this hourglass figure, not having, you know, the right shape, but first it was too big, now it's too small. It's like, you can never be perfect for society. And if you keep trying to compare yourself yourself to society, you're never gonna achieve it. So you have to wear things that you look and feel good in. So this, the little belt, it helps. This is kind of like stretchy on the back, so that helps. And honestly, even just posing can do a lot for your rear if that is your area of insecurity. And I actually, I really love this one, so I didn't just get it in one color, I got it in two. I actually really love the red, and the pockets are actually really big. Check this out. Here's our Balenciaga wannabe. It's hard to do one-handed, but look, this practically fits an entire shoe. All right, it holds half a shoe. Like, that's a big shoe. Hot. Damn. All right, this is amazing. Super cozy, comfy with pockets. This is basically a free people dupe. <laughs> I saw something like this at three people for, you know, way too much money. And this is actually really comfy and so cute. It kind of runs large. And you know, normally I'd feel a little bit insecure like going out with my legs exposed like this. Like I used to be so insecure about my legs and the fact that I didn't have that thigh gap that everyone talks about. That is like unachievable. Do you want to know the hint to a thigh gap? Check this out. If I sit down like this, no thigh gap, right? Cause my, my legs are on the chair. You literally move your booty forward. Some people have a thigh gap. Okay, ready? No thigh gap, none. Okay, if I just move my legs and like I'm sticking my butt back and then I'm pointing my toes inwards instead of just straight, thigh gap. Now that's not the same for everyone, but when you're comparing yourself or I'm comparing myself to people on social media, it's like, it's not real. Like it's literally in the posing. Comparison is the root of unhappiness, said some quote somewhere. I'm gonna wear this and I'm gonna be happy about it. <laughs> this I am so excited about. For those who don't know, my middle name is Rose and this has little roses on it. This is another example of something that I spent less than 50 bucks on, but that has like a designer dupe that's like $200. It's kind of runched right here. So it gives me a little bit more lift when I naturally really don't have much, if any. And this is one that is forgiving in this area. Like if I'm insecure about it and I could dress this up or down, check it out. If I want to dress it down, I could literally wear it with these sneakers. These are some of the best sneakers I've ever worn. I actually got these 
these a few weeks ago and I've been testing them out. These, if you have bunions, are amazing. Again, the bunions are this little growth on the side of the feet that hurts so bad. Because this is a fabric material, it doesn't like stress the bunions so it doesn't hurt. It's also got this really awesome arch support, which is phenomenal. But the best part about these is that you can throw them in the wash machine. They are literally wash machine friendly. I love these, but they're super comfy, super casual. And you know what? I don't have to feel bad about my bunions. And it's fashion that's actually functionable. Like this is cute, right? Please tell me it's cute. I'm looking for validation maybe. Nope. And check it out. If I wanted to dress it up, I could pair it with these. Do you recognize these? Pop quiz for fashion people who know way more than I do. Do you recognize these? Hmm? Right? Or do you recognize this? Hmm? Does it look like a multi-thousand dollar Dior handbag? Oh, it does. Do these look like thousand dollar pairs of shoes? Yes, they do. But are they? No, they are not because I am too thrifty for that. These are literally from the Sam Edelman brand. There are these, whatever that is. These are so cute and they look just like those, I think they're called Manalo Blahniks, Manello Blahniks, Manella folders. They look just like the Manella folder shoes. Um, and you see how they kind of lengthen the leg here? <sighs> I am actually really into these. They're not super uncomfortable upon my first wear, um, but look at how cute this is when you dress it up. You could even put like a little shawl or something over it. This also right here is not leather, so it doesn't hurt an animal and it's not Dior, but it looks just like the Dior saddlebag. The literal difference is that this is like a circle instead of a, a D for Dior. And all of a sudden, bam, I've saved thousands of dollars. Like that is actually so good. Like these are actually so chic. And again, I am not one who like looks for and loves a bunch of designer items. I really for a time could care less about brand names, but I'm not going to lie. Like when I'm feeling insecure <laughs> or when I'm going through it, like I have been, I just feel like everything about me is not enough. And I think that's kind of the core of it, right? It's like, what do I have to do? Who do I have to be in order to be good enough? <laughs> and the answer is you're good enough on your own. And like, why try to force something if you weren't right for that opportunity or for that thing, for that person, for that test, for that space? Why try to force it there? But as humans, our brain plays tricks on us. And you know what? When I feel just absolutely awful, spending money doesn't make me feel better, but looking like I spent a lot of money and knowing that I got a deal makes me feel better. Is this toxic retail therapy? Perhaps, but you know what? It's working. Look at where I was, you know, 30 minutes ago crying on my floor versus now. Okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, this one right here was listed as an Amazon bestseller and I am so glad that I did. The reason for working out should be to embrace your body, to care for your body, to nourish it, to give it exercise and movement, right? But often so many people use exercise as a way of punishing themselves for not looking right or for what they ate or blah, blah, blah. And sometimes if you feel judged or you compare yourself to people in the gym, you don't even go. And it's like, that's not the point of exercise. Fun fact, I'm a nutritionist and personal trainer. I don't actively do that for other people, but I am one and I've dealt with other people, including myself, just having these comparisons and letting it stop me from actually enjoying my body and enjoying movement. Movement is a privilege. If you have it, you should use it. And your clothing or the way you look or your body insecurities shouldn't prevent you from showing up and going on a hike or going swimming or going to the gym to do something that is good for you. It is a gift. It is an option, not a chore. Now, I I love this because this honestly, especially when I was my most insecure about my body, this literally does all of the things that I wish that I had five years ago when I was struggling the most. First off, there's these horizontal lines. So if you are concerned about certain areas looking larger or smaller, all of those horizontal lines help. Second off, this is high-waisted. Look at this, you could flip it down if you want to, but this is actually a nice, super high waist and it goes all around. It's so good, um, it doesn't, act weird if you're doing squats, which that is horrible form, never squat like that. But like, it's not super weird. Um, also that I used to be super insecure about, literally everyone has this, hello. Also, hi, itty bitty titty committee, anybody? Watch this. <laughs> Boom! If you do the little scoop, even with no workout bra underneath, this holds stuff in place. And again, I am not super, super large, so I can't speak to anyone other than me, but this, I can, I can run and I can jump and these aren't hitting me in the face. Like they're staying where they need to go. It gives a lift, all right? It, it makes something there that is actually literally, like it's literally not there and it makes it look like it's there, okay? Again, I wish that I had this um, years ago when I was super insecure and I, I saw exercise as something I had to do to like punish myself instead of embrace the fact that I can move. Um, but these are 
Yeah, these are great. Check this out. This is supposed to be a less expensive play on anthropology. My gosh, I just, I feel so good in this. It's not the most like shape hugging, which is freaking amazing. And if you want to have a hot girl summer, hot girls can wear anthropology Victorian era dresses. Absolutely. Honestly, there's something about billowy dresses that does just make me feel so good and I guess free, <laughs> literally free from areas that I might be feeling insecure about, um, things that I don't like about myself or just free to like move, right? And that's what good clothing should do. It should allow us to move and to express ourselves and you know, to uh, carry us throughout our days. This next one, I'm actually gonna need your help with because I literally don't know what I am like feeling insecure about versus what actually does or doesn't look good. When I was at a manufacturing company, I had this adorable purple kind of like crop top and it kind of came to here. And I found out that they also had other colors of purple in the romper, in the dress. So this looks like a dress, but it's actually a romper. It's got little shorts underneath, which makes it really easy to run around in. It's technically a purple color, but I don't know if I love this or not. I'm literally going through like 15 emotions all at the same time today, which makes it really rough. But I don't know if I feel insecure in this or if it's actually cute and I feel insecure or if it's just not that cute. I like the little tie on the back. Maybe I wish it were a little bit closer to the darker purple, but I don't know. How do we feel about this? I like the shape of it. Kinda, again, wish it had pockets. Does it have pockets? Hey, do you have pockets? No, no pockets. Darn it. But how do we feel about that? Also, these shoes, again, Steve Madden coming through. Don't these look just like that one designer, the Goose designer? Again, they look super expensive. They're actually really comfy and um, they're a fraction of the cost. Like this is a hot girl summer. Hot girl summers with insecurities mean facing your insecurities and showing up anyways. And um, finding things that are actually really cute for less expensive. That's the motto. Good news, this one does have a pocket and uh, this one actually has a zipper pocket. So that's nice. It definitely would not fit a shoe though. That is a much tinier pocket. This is really adorable. It reminds me of the aloe yoga stuff, but it's from a totally different brand. Again, we're not letting our insecurities get to us. And this one, if you wanna go braless, this is the one to go braless in because it literally has like a built-in shelf bra. This one doesn't have a squirt, so I'm obviously not gonna flash you, but I feel really cute in this. Like this, this, grab that Dior bag. Look at that. It's an outfit that's casual and comfortable and it like doesn't take up a lot of effort. You see, even this makes me so insecure. Um, my hairline, because I've been stressed and I feel like my hair isn't long enough. Like, do I need extensions? What do I need? I've honestly seen doctors and nutritionists about it. And like, it could just be stress, like telogen effluvium. Dr. Dre got me hooked on this. It's available on Amazon. And this, I unfortunately got full price. It was way too expensive. I love it. I feel like it is worth it for me. Look at me, about to go ride a bike. But I would try to get it on sale if you ever can. Amazon Prime does have this on sale. I've seen it on sale before. Just so that you can see it, I'm actually gonna turn off this light here, which is also, I literally, why is my life from Amazon? But do you see how it just pushes that right into your scalp? That's what I do. And it works while you're doing other stuff. You can move around with it. You can do dishes, you can do housework, you could be watching YouTube videos and you know, getting LED hairy growth into your scapulars. And I like that this one actually goes down in the back. A lot of the other ones don't go this far in the back. So like if you're missing hair up here, it doesn't really get it. So this one does. Again, I bought it because Dr. Dre, a dermatologist here on YouTube recommended it. She did not steer me wrong. Problem is that I paid more like full price, but if it's on sale, I would get it on sale. And I know Amazon does have it on sale. So just keep checking back for it. Like put it in a watch later thing, but keep checking back for it and get it when it's on a discount. This entire outfit is a challenge for me, but we're going for it. Jean shorts, which I used to be so insecure about and a crop top. And can you see like, this is my natural body. Like it has rolls and things, um, but depending on what you wear, you can either use clothes that make you feel more comfortable so you can still embrace it, but like kind of disguise it or just kind of go out there and get your thing. So this right here is a little crop top. This one again, shows off my back acne, a little bit of my chest acne, which I am not going to feel self-conscious 
conscious of today. I do like that it has the vertical, um, kind of these little pleats. Generally, vertical lines, meaning the ones that go up and down, can create an elongated look, whereas horizontal ones create a more stretched out look. Again, that all depends on what you want and what you're trying to achieve. There may be times like in the bust area or in other areas that you want those to look bigger, so you go for those different lines. Just fun fact based on photography. This is from uh, a doodoos. I got this in like nine different colors. It's kind of like an Adidas wannabe, but it's like a doodoos, a doodoos, a doodoos, a doodoos. And I got them in a whole bunch of colors because even though I feel uncomfortable about them, they do come in different lengths. And I'm challenging myself to love myself in them. Not to mention this top actually matches the little star on these Steve Madden wannabe designer goosey shoes. So there's that. And then these right here are some shorts, which again, I used to feel so insecure in shorts. And it's like, we deserve to be comfy and to be happy. Come on now. But these right here, I love them. First off, they're high-waisted. So if you do have an area that you just don't like as much or sometimes feel insecure about, this one isn't like one of those really low-rise things that does this, which again, this is totally, totally normal. Nothing to feel bad about. But if you do want, this has a little bit of a high-rise. And then look, it has this little bow detail and it has pockets. I'm so sick of women's clothes not having pockets. Uh, these actually have pockets and they have real pockets in the back too. This is also a little bit stretchy. It, it is denim, but it's like stretchy denim. So, you know, on days, if your weight fluctuates or if you have endometriosis or PMDD or cramps, anything, you can, um, you know, adjust to that. So that's fantastic. While I'm wearing this, we need to talk about body insecurities such as my armpits and my legs. Again, I was literally shaving before this video because I knew I was gonna be in swimwear. And um, I only shaved basically half of my body. This is something that I wish that I would have gotten uh, on sale. You can get this on sale at Amazon. This is the you like. I also have the Kenzie, which is right over here. The Kenzie is what I used on one leg for quite a while. This is really good, but it gets warm, but it's a little bit less expensive. This one, however, you can get it on sale. It makes it the same price. And this one has this little sapphire cold touch. So it literally helps you to IPL your arm pits so that you don't get these ingrown hairs and you don't grow back hair anymore. And I was literally thinking like, why don't I use it on my bikini line? Does anyone else, I'm not even talking about like the bikini area, but does anyone else get hairs like down here or hairs like on their happy trail? I used to be so insecure about those things. And um, basically the way I dealt with it is that I rebelled and I had body hair everywhere. Like I let my leg hair grow out for a year while I used the Kenzie. And then, um, I decided that I wanted to be more hairless. So I'm literally only doing it on one half of my body, but this has been amazing. Get this on sale. It's worth it full price, but get this on sale. When it comes to body image insecurities, remember that hair is a normal thing. It's so funny. It's like, I want more hair on my head, but less hair on my armpits, my tummy, and my legs. What is up with that? Does it make sense? Probably not, but that is what it is. And while we're in the bathroom, we gotta talk about this. This right here is my makeup. Um, it's literally in a Ziploc bag. If anybody wants to organize this for me, let me know. Well, I got some new things. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. I got the Flick Cat Eyeliner. I got the Instant Palette. Oh no, it looks like it may have cracked a little bit. Can I open you without you cracking anymore? Yikes. Okay, well, this is why we love Amazon because we can do returns if we need to. Oh no. Well, my nail's missing too. Love that for her. These are so pretty. You have mattes and shimmers. Gorgeous. And then I got this Rose Blur Matte Liquid Lipstick. Let's try this out right now, shall we? Ooh, this little wand, you can literally sculpt a Cupid's bow. Lip filler who, again, no harm to lip filler. Hot girl summers with insecurities. If you're insecure about your lips, you have options, both tweakments like injectables or literally makeup. Ah, I actually, oh my gosh, I love. As you saw earlier, um, <laughs> I've been crying basically the entire month and I've been looking for things to depuff my face. I normally just put face masks in the fridge, but somebody under a YouTube video recommended that I try this. So I got this on Amazon. It's the Cryo Recovery Face Mask. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. Apparently you put this entire thing in the freezer and it's supposed to cool off your face. I actually like that it has Velcro, but look, it has these like pressure points where you're stressed. I'm stressed everywhere. It has these little um, gelatinous beads. Oh my God, this looks so weird. I guess these allow you to have the cryotherapy and like strip it to your face. Oh my gosh, even if you're puffy in your chin. Me after crying all day. Oh my God, this is terrible. 
I have to put it in the freezer to see if it works, but you know what? This is a hot girl summer moment. You wanna be hot girl summer? This is how we do it. You have to be high maintenance to be low maintenance. That's what I was told, okay? <sighs> I'm going from like crying to laughing like six times a day. This is how I'm gonna deal with my puffy face from now on. <laughs> Again, I really hope that this will work. If anyone else has tried this, let me know. I'm just gonna put this in the freezer and see what it does. Oh man. Speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, I don't love all of her products, but this is one that I do. It is one of the best hydrating moisturizers for under makeup. It's luxury and doesn't pill. It's expensive though. It's not magic. It's freaking science, <laughs> um, but it doesn't pill under foundation. This is $100. There's a $14 thing that just came on the market. This is from Revolution Pro. This is called the Magic Cream. This is called the Miracle Cream, but again, $14 versus $100. I don't know if this is a dupe. I'm gonna have to test and swatch these out for you. But when I saw this, I saw they both have shea butter. Ooh, I was like, we gotta give this a try. First impressions, that's looking pretty similar. Even the smell. I mean, the whole thing about this magic cream is that it doesn't um, ball up underneath makeup. There's the magic cream. Ooh, there's the miracle cream. The miracle cream seems a little bit more lightweight, but that that is a hot girl summer saver for you. Again, I have to see if it's actually a dupe or not, but if you don't have $100, which I don't blame you, and I probably don't either, um, 14. I'm gonna test this for you. When it comes to hot girl summer pictures, this is a best friend. So I personally have always struggled with my skin and with my acne. And depending on the lighting, you can really see, oh, you can see that my under eyes, like if they're filled with tears and if like my face is puffy, you can see my acne scars and my skin kind of looks like sourdough bread because of that scarring, right? And a lot of that has to do with the lighting. So the lighting right here is kind of half and half on my face. I personally choose not to filter my images, or if I do, I post the before and after. Well, if you don't wanna filter, or if you do wanna filter, but you just want extra brightness, look at that. <laughs> Literally, this one comes with, it has the um, tungsten and the LED, so you can have blue or yellow light, but look at how that looks. <laughs> just evening out the skin based on lighting can do so much for y'all. And, you know, depending on where you hold it, it's different, but this comes with a clip, so you can clip it right to your phone. One of the brightest, it just charges with like a, it has two different chargers. You can have the Apple charger or the Samsung charger. And this thing just works so well. This thing is amazing. If you want hot girl summer pictures this hot girl summer, even with your insecurities, I challenge you to go filter free. I challenge you, even if you're using a light, to go filter free in a photo this hot girl summer, okay? During hot girl summers with insecurities, we don't just express ourselves, we also protect ourselves. Self-protection. <laughs> Fun fact, I have nightmares almost every single time that I actually have a dream. They are terrifying. And I've had way too many of like being trapped in a vehicle while I am drowning underwater and the only people who can save me like don't. And like even before this month, like I've just always had nightmares. Call it CPTSD, call it whatever you want. This is called the Atomic Bear, Prepare to Survive. It's a pen <clears throat> that actually is used for writing, but if you hold this, you can literally stab this, stab an assailant who's trying to get you, or you can smash a window if you're stuck in a car or something. So hot girl summers, whether or not you have insecurities, you need to protect yourself. Maybe the insecurities are serving a purpose. They are helping keep us safe. Um, but this is something that I hope I will never, ever, ever have to use, but I actually am going to use it because it's a pen. So I will use it as a pen, but I hope to never have to use it otherwise but just in case, this is in my car, <laughs> so. It can just be absolutely exhausting to feel like you are <laughs> fighting yourself every single day. And I don't know if you need to hear this or not. You probably do, because I know I do, but like, you are enough. You are worth it. You are amazing and talented and unique <laughs> just as you are. And you and your insecurities bring something so unique to this world that nobody else does. You have perspectives and opinions that are valuable and how you feel is legit. And sometimes that feeling is less than desirable, less than good as, um, as I have felt it. You could try to chase all of the insecurities. There's literally a product to fix everything or at least claims that it will. But remember, if you find ways whew, to manage your or ups and downs um, and to work through those things, maybe relying on an item or a person or a product or a service when you need it, but overall to know or to try your best to be a work in progress and know that you are valuable. I mean, 
that is worth more than, you know, anything that you can get off of a shelf. <laughs> I may not be a mailman, but I always try to deliver. Um, I've really been going through it. And is this the healthiest coping mechanism? No, but again, I could have a lot of other unhealthy coping mechanisms that I'm really glad that I'm not. Um, you know, I see that's the thing. It's like, I try to remind myself that it could always be worse, but then I feel bad complaining because I know that certain problems are worse than others, right? Ugh. Um, I'm gonna probably go cry. I've been really up and down and I'm gonna try out this cryotherapy face mask next time I do and let you know if it works or not. But yeah, I've listed all of these in the description if you would like them. All of them are vegan as well, no leather. I would love your opinions on if these did or didn't look okay. Um, if there are other things that you found that you love that help you improve your body, your appearance, your acne, your hair, your skin, all of those things. And I've left all of these in the description if you would like to see what I'm using, but no obligation. Because remember, having a sense of self, knowing that regardless of what you're wearing, regardless of what you have on, regardless of the way you look, that you are worth it, that you have something so valuable and unique to bring to this world, um, there's, there's nothing else that can substitute for that. So thanks for joining me. Uh, reapply that SPF, even if it is one of those shoulder guards that helps or a big old hat. <laughs> uh, stay hydrated, both orally and topically and be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and uh, thank you for bearing with me when I am showing up as less than my ideal self. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye.